already survives day to day under U.S. sanctions. It's the 30 million people of Afghanistan who've suffered the very cruel consequences of war, of occupation, of the strangling of the Afghani uh, economy. So this meeting uh, this weekend in Doha and Qatar um, will reveal a lot. Um, the U.S. is in no position to impose uh, on Afghanistan uh, their will. Uh, they've been defeated um, by the Taliban, uh, despite all of the retrograde policies of uh, the Taliban, uh, specifically their perspective on women, really a medieval uh, perspective. Um, they were able to unite in some type of way and expel the forces of occupation. Right, Danny, and, and the truth is that the people in power, they're going to eat, the Taliban are going to eat. It's really that everyday Afghans that you mentioned have been, uh, you know, enduring, you know, decades of war in their country. They're the ones that are going to get really the, the worst part of this uh, deal, aren't they? Yeah, exactly, and how cynical and hypocritical the images of uh, U.S. Marines held up as uh, heroes uh, in front of Trump's speeches and, and rallies. Um, these U.S. Marines who supposedly passed Afghani children over a, a, a fence. This is, uh, even by imperialist uh, standards, the height of cynicism and hypocrisy. The very forces most responsible for Afghani suffering, um, the very forces who supported uh, the predecessor to the Taliban, the Mujahideen, to go against the Afghan social revolution of 1978, now being lauded by CBS and ABC and Fox News as heroes in Afghanistan, when it's the diametrical opposite. All of the bombs dropped, uh, drones. Um, Afghanistan was one of the first countries where drones were introduced and used, um, always it was said that it was used against com enemy combatants, but it was used against uh, civilians as well, as, as all of the WikiLeak cables and other evidence suggests. So now that the U.S. wants to present themselves as the saviors and the humanitarians in Afghanistan is, again, extremely hypocritical. All right, Danny, stay safe, man. Always a pleasure to check in with you. From New York, Danny Shaw, they're joining us.